Oh, look at this guy. You made it in. Good for you. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play. Last video, we did our final prep for the, our first Horde Night. Uh, tonight, we are going to be dealing with our Horde Night, and we'll see if our roof collapses. Will it collapse? I don't know. Who knows? I was pretty... I was pretty confident about the roof until you guys get left comments on last video, and now I'm a little bit concerned. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. As you can see right here, I made myself a campfire, and I put it down here, just a very temporary thing, trying to get some food in me, uh, because my food is extremely low um, for some reason. I don't know. I guess not eating, you know, uh, makes you hungry in this game. <laughs> freaking what a concept right uh, i'm really nervous about this roof guys you guys were like oh there's some zombie stuff on there it's gonna collapse if this happens it's gonna collapse if that happens it's gonna collapse oh boy why do you guys gotta do this to me i'm anxious enough gotta make me all scared about my roof collapsing all right so there we go we got food for the night um should be enough should not be a problem uh we got all our weapons we got a bunch of arrows we got everything we need uh we got some extra torches i do want to put down some torches i'm a little bit worried about screamers because torches now add heat to the area but we'll have to see i do have a head i do have a i keep wanting to call it a headlamp i do have a mining helmet so there's that uh yeah i don't know about this i think the roof's gonna be okay we'll see we shall see you never know wouldn't be the craziest thing that ever happened if my roof didn't collapse all right, so actually, we've got a pretty good amount of light here. You know what? I'm going to just leave it the way it is for now, um, as far as light goes. Okay, guys. Oh, and then they're going to be able to dig behind us. And plus, the roof that's connected to the um, to the, to the the stone in the back is not... This part right here is not really overly stable. So we're going to have to deal with that as well before the next time we get a horde. Let's hope they come from this side. If they come from this side... Oh, it looks like they're coming from here. Okay, this is... If, the, if this is the way they're coming from, this should be okay. It looks like we're getting three to start with, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, let's, uh, let's hit you before you get there. And take you out. I hear some zombies to the left now as well. Oh, man, this guy's not dying. What's up? What's up with that? There he goes. So I do hear some zombies to the left over there, so let's hope that is not an issue. Um, we got some zombies below us. She's got her leg broken out already, and she's done. She just doesn't know it yet. Uh, we just gotta take them. These guys have some hit points now. I don't know what's up with that. I do have good arrows. They shouldn't be taking so many hits, but maybe it's just because I'm not hitting them in the head. Alright, let's be quiet so we can hear. I can hear over here. It sounds like there's some zombies. Alright, we got some zombies there. There's a gore block. It looks like an animal gore blocked up there. Um, it sounds like we have some more over here. Don't forget, we do have some spikes on the wall over here, so that's a little bit extra damage they'll have to deal with. I gotta remember to stop zooming in. Zooming in does not help anymore. It's funny, the way the bow used to be... Alright, so for those of you who have been playing this game for a while, the way the bow used to be back in the day is you would want to zoom in to get really good aim. Actually, originally, nobody ever zoomed in with the bow. Then they made it so you wanted to zoom in with the bow. Now, now, that, now you don't want to zoom in with the bow. It keeps going back and forth. Oh man, she's got her head in my pillar, in the freaking thing. So if a zombie has their head in my spike, shouldn't that do extra damage? That should do like head damage, headshot damage, right? Alright, so it looks like they are trying to get around. That's fine by me because they're not gonna, it's not, they're not gonna be able to do it. They're not gonna be able to get around. So you guys keep trying. It's just gonna make, give me extra time, you know? This isn't helping them in any way. You're not gonna make it, lady. You're not gonna make it. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Do I have anybody on the roof? I do not know. Alright, well, you guys can waste your time up there. Doesn't bother me. Alright. Don't forget, we are at max alive, so we're only going to have so many so many zombies at, at a given time. So the zombies that run up there and are doing nothing, all they're doing is making my Horde Knight easier. So, it sounds like they're beating on my spikes over here. Maybe. Yep, see? Where'd you go? You did nothing. You ran up there and it, it, it didn't help you at all. All right, so uh, the horde base is working out. Uh, this is a pretty weak horde. Uh, there's some, there's something going on with the game stages where the hordes seem a little bit weak to me, um, but that will change as time goes on and my game stage gets higher. Game stages, for those of you who don't know, game stage is basically like, um, depend I'm not going to get technical into it. I'm just because honestly, I don't totally understand it. But it, it takes your levels and and your like your skill points and all that kind of stuff and puts it all into a basket and says, okay, this is your game stage. 
and this is the kind of horde you'll get. Now, I put my max alive on 16, but that does not matter, because if your game stage is not high enough, um, you won't get those 16 zombies anyway. The game stage can stop you from getting the amount of zombies that you put at your max alive. And that's what's happening right now. It happened in multiplayer as well. I think it needs some looking into. I think it might be a little bit easy. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So what's he going to do? Yeah, he's going to fall right down. Yep, there he goes. All right, so it's working out. If I could just hit these guys. I find the I find the uh, bow a little bit harder to hit than, than before. Oh, he's got his freaking head in my spikes. Yeah, if they have their heads in your spikes, that should do headshot damage. All right, let's take care of you. This guy's not working with me. Is he going to come back around? I don't know what he's doing. There he goes. There we go. Yeah, I don't seem to be getting as many headshots as I usually do. I'm not sure if I'm just not used to the bow, because I haven't used the bow in a long time, because I've been, like, you know, I've been past the point where I would use the bow. All right, we got 16 points available. That is nice. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now, though. We're just going to wait for the next uh, horde to come in. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to people on stream yesterday because we were on a stream and uh, we had like six people in the same area and we were getting like a, an extremely weak, pathetic horde. Um, now, I've been playing this game for four years, so I'm what you would call probably like a seasoned veteran. And um, a lot of people said, well, Cage, you know, we've been playing this game for a long time. Maybe they're not, you know, maybe it just seems easy to us because we've been playing for so long. And I, I guess I get that. I guess maybe they should have some kind of option to maybe make the game stages harder. Like, you know, like maybe at a certain game stage, you'll get harder. Like maybe, maybe the game stages could ramp up quicker. You could have like some kind of setting. Because I understand like wanting to make the game stages easy for the people who don't know. You know, I get that. I'm, I'm, I'm... I am uh, sympathetic to new players, but at the same time, this is like just too easy. So, but we are playing an experimental version of an of a game in alpha, so that's what this is about. About balancing and testing will, in fact, come later, and uh, I get that, and that's fine. Just um, giving my two cents because um, I'm thinking the ma I'm thinking the Mad Mole. I mean, I mean, I meant I think the Seven Days to Die devs are watching my videos at this point, so I will give my uh, two cents. And if they agree, maybe they can change it. If they don't, that's fine too. Come on, there you go. I want to kill them. Uh, I don't want my spikes to kill them because I want the experience. Although the Zeds don't give as much experience as they used to. I think they said it got cut in half. Is that is that is that what I heard, or am I just making that up? Okay, she's dead. Bring you in. So the gore blocks get in the way, so I can't hit her, which is kind of annoying. All right, it sounds like they're hitting something over here. It sounds like they're attacking my spikes. I probably should have put the spikes underground, like I said I was going to do. I totally forgot about that. But that is okay. Honestly, I didn't want to dig into the ground because it'll take too long. I don't want to do. I don't want to do any crazy digging into the ground until I get better tools. There she goes. So they are trying to get around, guys. They are trying to get around, and it's simply not working out for them. I've uh, I've built a good base here. I've built a good base, and that makes me happy. Okay, so what are we gonna do after this horde night? Honestly, I think I've defeated this horde. Um, I think we need to do some major looting. I think what we need to do after the Horde Knight is explore this town completely. Because I want to do some more exploring of the world. I want to get to the trader. Um, you know, actually, I should probably go to the trader next thing, right? Is that the trader out there? Uh, that is probably the trader. Track waypoint, show on map. Nope, that's the airdrop. There's an airdrop out there. So... Um, where is the trader? Well, let's go take a look at the trader. We can look at our quest. I think that's going to be the next thing we do is go to the trader. The trader is too... Oh, God, that's pretty far. That's pretty far. Um, so let's go here. Let's go there. It is tracking. Um, re remove uh, show on map. There we go. Where am I? I don't know. That show on map thing didn't really help. Uh, well, it's this way, right? I'm looking at the trader now. Yep, there it is. Okay. Alright, it's, it's not that far. What I'll do is I'll just pause the video when I go out there and just make the trip. Um, did I get... Is this... I've been restarting my world so much and playing so, many, so much multiplayer. I don't remember what I got in this world. 
I believe I do have treasure maps in this world. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. Honestly, I don't remember. Oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. You die now. Stop wrecking my spikes. Iron ain't free, dick. There he goes. Oh, what the hell? Did you see that? It's like they fell out of the sky. That was weird. It also looked like a feral, didn't it? Down you go. Archery level 9, people. What up? For whatever that means. <laughs> whatever that's good for. Archery just makes you do more damage. I, I get that, but... I don't get super excited for archery level ups. Damn it! Stop moving. There you go. Woohoo, headhunter! I'm not really good. I'm not doing a good headhunting job today. Um, so that's a bummer. So they are attacking the spikes quite a bit. You hear that? You hear that clang, clang sound? That's them attacking my spikes, because I don't have anything else down there that's metal. She's dead, right? Okay. I might have exhausted the horde, by the way. Uh, where's my hammer? I guess I don't have it with me. I don't know why I don't have my hammer with me. I should for repairs. Not that the, this is really uh, causing me any issue, but let's take a look. Let's grab our hammer. We might have exhausted the horde. Uh, again, for you new players, when you exhaust the horde, basically... Um, what am I looking for? Hammer? Uh, I got a wrench. Wait, seriously, where's my hammer? Did I leave it back at the other base? Uh, hammer! I did have a hammer, didn't I? Am I seeing it? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> am I seeing it? How would you know if I'm seeing it? Obviously, I'm not seeing it. It is It is 5 o'clock in the morning in real life. Um, I just wanted to make this... I just wanted to make this video. I was really excited about it. So, maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, look at this guy. You made it in. Good for you. Damn, man. What's what, the pathing on the zombies is completely screwed up. <laughs> it's not... It's just all over the place. I don't know how he made it in. Um... I'm guessing he just walked around the wall, probably got lucky. Uh, so what I'm thinking is this wall needs to come out a little bit more. One more spot should just about do it. I could also dig some dirt. There's little things I can do. He also could have dropped down from the top and kind of like glitched his way in here. Um, one guy that makes it in though is not the, the end of the world. Uh, uh, let's just, well, let's just build it up right now. There's no point not to. We've exhausted the horde, I'm pretty sure. So uh, there's only so many zombies that can come in a horde. And once they've been used up, then that's you exhausting the horde. So, all right. I really hope the hammer's not in that chest now. <laughs> I've been known to miss things, and when I've only been up for an hour, and it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep, guys. I couldn't sleep. I woke up at, like, 4, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go back to bed, you know? And then, um, I was just like, no, oh, I gotta make videos. I gotta do the horde night. All right, so I don't want to do this. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's put this up here. Uh, yeah, that right there, there, and there. That should help. That should help. Okay, what's going on down there? There he is. There he goes. So what you'll do is once you once you exhaust the horde, they, they will still come in. But what they'll do is they'll trickle in. They'll co they'll come in a little bit at a time. All right. So just so you guys know. Whenever you, I, I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again. Anytime you have a tool that is used up and you don't want to use it anymore, put it directly into the campfire. You get 100% of the iron back. Until you, uh, later on, you can, you can combine them with a workbench. But for the first part of the game, I think it's a good idea to do that. What, how did she get in here? I think there's, they can't be spawning in here. How the hell did she get in here? No, she should not be in here. No, she should not be in here. She did not make it over that wall. Huh. I wonder. That's kind of weird. How, do, do you guys have any ideas? Let me know if you have any ideas on how they got in here. There's no way she made it past here. No way. I call it impossible. Can't get in here. Alright, so they're spawning. He spawned there, didn't he? Yeah, they're spawning really close, aren't they? That guy spawned here, right? He didn't run here, did he? I mean, I guess he could have. I didn't see him. Let's see what he does. Let's see. 
I figure out how they're getting in. Alright, I wonder if they're dropping down and getting onto this platform. Dropping down from the roof. You think that's possible? If they kind of make a run and kind of like pull in here, they might be able I'm, I think I'm going to make this roof one more out. I think I'm going to make this roof one more out. Because that might be... Actually, they could get in right here. Look at this. I didn't finish this part. This could be a spot they're going to get in. I'm also going to make this roof one more out. Yeah, that, that's a spot they could have they could have fell in from the roof, possibly. It's the only way I see they could have done it. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, this is um this is a really weak horde, dude. Um, it's basically done. I'm gonna go in, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to first I want to cut this corpse up, and then I'm gonna cut up this corpse, and then I'm gonna go inside, and I'm gonna put down my workbench. All right, so uh, let's grab the work. Bench, it's right here. All right, we're gonna leave them alone. We're gonna worry about it. All right, workbench. Where do I want to put this? Oh boy, this is um. I know I don't have a great spot here for stuff. Uh, let's just put it over here. That'll work. All right, workbench. So what the workbench is gonna do is gonna allow me to combine things. So basically, what I can do. Do I have any forged iron? I'll show you right now what I can do. How combining is really powerful. So what you want to do is, if you, let's say you have a really powerful axe, a 342 axe, and you have a 145 axe. What you're going to do is you're going to repair the 145 axe, and you're going to put in the the strong axe and then the the weak axe, and you're going to get free repairs on the axe. Now, anytime you repair something using the actual repair button, it takes away from the the quality. But what I just did took away nothing from the quality. So there you go. I'll show you one other thing you can do really quickly. And I'm not going to do this too much because, I don't know. Um, probably won't do it too much. But uh, before we do anything, what level are we? We're level 24. We do have our, yeah, okay. We have everything up all the way. So actually, I see another thing right there. Actually, I'm going to do something differently with that. I'm going to do something different with the clubs. I, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I kept forgetting, guys. I should be making a barbed club. A, cl a barbed club is the upgrade to the reinforced club. And once you have forged iron, you make the barbed club. And then when that is done, I'm going to go ahead and make a bow. And I'm going to I'm going to use the barbed club, and I'll put these iron reinforced clubs back in the forge, back at my other base to get full iron back. And then I will combine the bows to make a little bit better of a bow. All right, let's go see what this zombie's up to. Okay. What's going on up there? Make me come out there. Did he die? Thought I heard something. Hold on. Anything over here? Oh, oh yeah, I hear something. This side's a little scary. Probably build out this side a little bit more. There he is. I see you. Or she. Damn it, she died. I was hoping to get the hit points. I mean, get the hit points. I was hoping to get the, um, the, uh, the, the experience. <sighs> All right, guys. So I would pause the video, but you know what? We're pretty much ready to go out and loot. I want to show you the looting to see what kind of loot we get. These are regular zombies, so the loot's not going to be, not going to be crazy. We need to start thinking about an entrance for this place. Um, there's a couple different ways. Look at this guy. What happened to your legs, dude? Let's see if we can snipe him. Okay. Ah! Just over his head. Oh, just below his head. Oh, shoulder shot! Yeah, that looked like the back of the head. That was the face. No, that was the arm! The hell? Come on, die already. There he goes. Okay. So, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, we need to think of an entrance. Okay, so there's a couple different ways I can... Um, hold on. Headshot. Headshot. Okay, and there we go, guys. Horde Knight successful. Um, yeah, I got to think of an entrance. I'm not really sure how I want to do it. I've got some ideas. I don't know. I've got some ideas. This is not... I'm, I'm starting to get into the point where I want to make the base awesome and perfect, but this is not a perfect base. This is supposed to be an imperfect base to do things differently than I have been doing them in the past. I've built ridiculously strong bases. This is a bad base design, but maybe it's a little bit better than I thought because it did kind of last. <laughs> so maybe it's not as bad as a base design as I thought, but it's not something I would, I would normally make, that's for sure. 
Um, a lot of you guys said the roof was going to collapse. I don't think there was many zombies on the roof. There was points where there were zombies on the roof, but not a lot of them. So whether the roof is going to collapse is still up in the air. Um, but by the time by the time we get to our next horde, I'm going to reinforce uh, the pillars underneath the roof. So that will be awesome. Right, let's chop these up so we know when they're looted. One shot. I love it. One, sh one shot with the axe. One bone. The, um, the, the spikes barely took any damage, which I'm very happy about, so I don't have to re I don't have to replace the spikes. All I have to do is repair them. It's much, much better. Right. Got you. Don't care. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot these guys on camera, and then I'm going to break them up with my axe uh, during a cut. So let me loot them. Okay... Yeah, these these early hordes don't really have anything good. That was a that was a really weak horde. I mean, um, I'm not sure what's going on with the game stages, but I hope they kind of mess around with them a little bit. But then again, like I said, I don't want like new players that like get killed immediately and like want to quit the game. You know, um, I am uh, I'm completely you know sensitive to new players and their difficulties. So, ooh, blood jar kit. That's nice. Too bad I scrapped the. Uh, too bad I scrapped the first aid schematic that I got out of the airdrop, huh? Uh, I can't believe I did that. All right, anything up here? What's going on up here? Doesn't look like anything's going on up here. Looks like we got a deer. Honestly, I want to kill that deer. I need the meat. One thing I am really hurting with is food. So let's go ahead and take out that deer really quickly. And then I will harvest him and harvest the corpses as well. We've already looted all the corpses, so that should not be a problem. The deer's going to fall all the way down. That is nice. I'm going to fall down. Hopefully not hurt my leg. Okay. All right, guys. We're good. I'm going to I'm gonna chop up these corpses, loot that deer, and then uh, I'll see you guys after that. All right, guys. Let's take a look at our skills since we have uh, 16 points to spend. Let's take a look really quick. All right. We got 16 points available. Okay. So what do we want to put points into? We got science. Uh, I think I'm good, pretty good with three science at the moment. Fixer wouldn't be bad. Uh, what else we got? Uh, pummel pea is fine where it is. Okay, concrete mixing is probably what we're going to want. Although, I do want to start getting electricity stuff. Okay. Um, concrete mixing. Do I really care about... Con you know what? I, I'm not in really the position to really take advantage of the concrete just yet. I'm thinking... Generator bank. Electricity basics. And what about lights? Where are lights? Uh, switches and triggers. Now, you know what it was for the lights? It was Electricity Basics 2. Okay. Um, it says I don't have enough. Uh, it says I have enough. It says I have enough science for it. Um, I guess I could buy it, right? Let me see if I can make any lights that I already have. Um, yeah, so I could already make some lights. But these are probably crappy, crappy lights, I'm imagining. Um, so I'm not really sure. Let's just stick with the lights we have, uh, you know, that I can already make because I am getting, I am getting very low on points. Um, I'm going to save the last set of points, I think. All right. So let's do some combining here. So, uh, let's go ahead and combine the bows. We'll put the better bow in first then this bow. And now we got a 205 bow. See, that's how that works. Okay. I also had some shoes. No, I'm wearing worn boots. Crap. I wanted to, uh, uh, combine running shoes for better shoes. So I think that's the only combining I can do. Guys, um, there's not really much more to do here. I think we're going to call this one a little bit early because our Horde Knight was completely successful. All right, guys, the build is successful. Let's name it. Um, I have not been, like, scouring the comments for names, but do, does anybody have a name for this build? That would be awesome. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy.